Hey guys, Taylor here. So today we're going to talk about dun 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 the battle of the leave-in hair treatments. So you guys know that I am a huge fan of the Redken One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment Spray. Use this for so many things. It literally has 25 uses, but I mainly use it as a detangler after I get out of the shower to brush through my hair. I will use it as a heat protectant before I style my hair and as a detangler, so brushing my hair before I style. And I also use it on my girls and as a detangler because they have much thinner hair and their hair gets so tangly. So this helps um, so many uses for it. But I always see people rave about the It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In plus keratin, especially in the mom groups that I'm in where little girls just get super tangly hair. Um, and I think any girl mom can attest to that. They just are very active and their hair gets super tangly no, many, no matter how many times you brush it. So people were raving about this and using it in their daughter's hair as a detangler and a leave-in conditioner that's really helped um, manage the tangles and just help their daughter's hair overall be more stylable and manageable. So you know your girl had to give it a try and I want wanted to kind of talk about the difference between the two and what I like each for and kind of which one I prefer for what because they're kind of similar. So it's a 10. I tried this. I've been using it for about a month on my hair and my girls's hair. I love this after a shower. So it's a little bit thicker I find than the Redken One United spray. Um, but what I find is that I feel like that really helps. It's like a true leave-in conditioner. So I like using this on damp hair to just inject extra moisture, extra frizz control, and help with the brushing post-shower. I will say I do find that I like this a little bit better on my girls' hair, which is a little bit shorter and a little bit thinner and a little bit more tangly than I necessarily um, prefer on my own. So just keep that in mind, but I do like it um, post shower when your hair is still damp using this product to just inject a little bit of condition and moisture into my hair and my girls' hair. This product I like on dry hair before styling and just in the morning before brushing. So my girls get up and they go to school. So they always have to have detangler when they brush their hair or else it just gets really ratty and doesn't look right. So I always have them use this um, One United Benefit Spray when their hair is dry. So this is, you know, they shower at the night and this is when they wake up in the morning, their hair is dry. I really feel like this is just such a um, more of a true spray, a thinner product, so it doesn't necessarily sit and soak on your hair like the It's a Tin. So I find that it's really good for dry hair, for brushing, and then for post-styling versus this one I feel like is better for post-shower when you're getting ready to go to bed and your hair has time to really soak it up before you style. I do feel like this does leave a little bit of grit on your hair as well. Um, so that's why I wouldn't want to put this on and then immediately style afterwards. This really, I feel like is a product that needs to sit on your hair and absorb a little bit. So it's great for night and post shower, but this is definitely my go-to for heat protected detangling for dry hair that you are going to style, you know, in the next one, one to two hours. So there's kind of the difference between the two. Let me know if you guys prefer one or the other and if you've tried either of them. I want to know your guys' thoughts. So uh, make sure you hop on over to my Instagram and let me know what you think.